Lock and Key is the story of the three Lock kids. Without warning, they are uprooted from their lives in California. They move back to this ancestral family home. In this house, they find all kinds of magical keys. And each key all have certain special abilities. And little by little, the story starts to unravel. The spirit in the well house is trying to take over the keys, take over the house, take over the family, and eventually take over the world. And uh, despite all the scary stuff, it's really fun. When Audible wanted to do a whole audio play set in the world of Lock and Key, adapting the stories, I felt tremendous excitement because I think hearing a story brings it to life in a completely different way. It's just another dimension to it. I mean, there's there's the wonderful illustrations. It's great to read, you know, holding in your hand. But also, I know that we've just found really fun ways to play with, you know, that roadmap. Joe is such a talented guy that it's the kind of people that's very confident in collaborative efforts because he's not afraid of different ideas to what he has in mind, and he has the talent to make that work. It had always been a story that invited other people's imaginations and other people's talents, and I felt there was a tremendous opportunity to bring in actors and have them explore those characters emotionally. There's such a rich world there to play with. It was a chance for me to explore the sort of just the vocal side of characterization. It's very stimulating, and I think hearing it is going to be terrifying. When we looked at bringing this to life in sound, we took a TV and film aesthetic and used real locations as the backdrop of Key House, the backdrop of Lovecraft, Massachusetts. It's been so much fun. We run around and actually go to the real places, and uh, we're out in the woods, we're out on the beach. To be in the environment really, really close to what's actually in the graphic novel. It just enhances the performances so much more. You incorporate sound design, you incorporate music. Everything will be very visceral, everything will be very unique, everything will be created personally for this. And I think that speaks to the power of a great audio presentation. It's not just an adaptation, but almost a reinvention. And I think that's tremendously exciting.